obviously you've had a lot of experience here in various roles and that kind of thing. What is your approach with your kids this week in a buy coming off a tough loss, like to, to kind of keep them focused and that kind of thing? Um, we really don't have to change anything. We're just working on ourselves as we always do. So I guess the focus is more on what we're doing on the field. Uh, we're getting a lot of above the line work against each other, which has really been great. Uh, that brings a, a needed energy. Um, so really we're just kind of focusing on ourselves right now and, and uh, excited to play against each other at this time. One of the guys that, you know, not maybe one of the front runners, but he's made the move to safety king. He looks like he's done a pretty good job in pass cover. What have you seen from him? Yeah, Jalen just keeps on improving. Um, he is a smart kid that's got a bright future ahead of him. Um, he's working on an engineering degree. So he's studying his tail off, he's working hard, he's finding time to find extra wait, wait time with our strength coaches to get bigger, faster, and stronger. Um, when you talk about what Georgia Tech is, he is, a, he is what Georgia Tech is. He's, a, he's an outstanding young man. In terms of, you guys got some penalties for, for uh, per, personal fouls and that sort of thing. Has there been kind of emphasis on trying to avoid <laughs> those situations and yeah, always, kind of comment that back a little bit? Yeah, always. We, uh, we want to control the controllables in, in our in our scheme here, and uh, that's one thing that we, we didn't do as well, so it just kind of brings it back into focus. Hey, we can control our actions before play, after play, during a play, and don't ever put it in anybody else's hands, and it just kind of brings us back to focus with that. Um, that was uncharacteristic for us, and it'll be good to play some penalty-free football coming up. As a group, you obviously had the emotion of coming here as a returning guy, and someone who played here but now you're going back to a place you used to work where you know a lot of the kids most of the team and have you thought about kind of what your emotions are going to be like next week when you go up and play? Um, it would be good to see some of those guys um, there were I mean we had a, a good bond with those but you try not to really think about that you think about the guys that you're forming with bonds with here uh, of course there's going to be some emotions you're not going to hide away from that or shy away from that but it'll be organic I'm not thinking about it one way or the other just when we get there it'll it either hit you or it doesn't. I think you were just sort of looking at some of their tape, kind of what is it? Is it kind of different kind of seeing these guys, guys that you know? Yeah, but we're watching the offense more right. than we are the defense. Uh -huh. We spend so much time with the defensive players. Right. So it's not like you're thinking about all these different memories that are coming rushing back. I mean, it is still a competitive thing that we're looking for uh, when we go up to uh, Temple to play. Is it schematically? Are they running stuff that's a lot different than what you guys ran on offense? Uh, I mean, football's football, so there's only so much stuff that you really can do. Um, but they got a nice little scheme that they do, and they're coached well, and they play hard. Um, so it's a credit to what they're doing up there. I imagine they're they're want to, going to take advantage of of what they did in the in the previous week, you know, and maybe this week against Buffalo, when you guys come up there, they're not going to let up at all. Oh yeah, we wouldn't expect them to. You know, it's uh, it's another game for them. Uh, they're probably. The same way we are focusing on themselves, not us. We're focusing on what we're doing. They're probably doing the same thing. Uh, we're all looking for the put the, the ball, put the ball down mentality, and getting ready to play. You've probably been one of the your group's been one of the best ones about using the above the line guys and rotating a lot and stuff. Kind of how do you come up with uh, I guess your rotation and how you use that in games? Um, so how they practice has a lot to do with that. Um, what we ask them to do during the week, just showing up on time, how they carry themselves in a meeting, how they're, if they're sitting in the first two rows of class, all that stuff is factored into how those guys will end up playing. And they all play and practice well, so I feel like I need to get them into a game because that is why we practice, because they want to play. And if they earn the right to play, it's their job, it's my job to put them in and play. Is the decision making process kind of looking at the offensive personnel and being like, okay, who do I like against this group? Sometimes there's a matchup. Uh, sometimes it's just a, an effort. It's an effort thing or a feel thing during the game, or sometimes it's simply it's his turn to go. You know, but yeah, there's always a matchup scheme that we like certain guys in certain situations. And some guys got more practice this week and did better in this area of the field than they did this one. So we kind of compile all that and then put our best product out there. What did you see the past two days in terms of effort energy? Uh, it, was, it was like we just got back here and started spring again. Mm -hmm. uh, guys were just ready to move on and control what they could control. And we told them, hey, you guys can control this next practice. And energy and effort is going to be the same as us as coaches. We're not going to let you down. Don't let us down. And we'll go out there and play and have a good time.
Who are some guys who are specifically kind of leading that charge? Uh, really, the last couple of days, it's been Christian Campbell. Um, Wanya is always going to be that guy. Uh, Johnny Kerr. I mean, I really could go through my position group and, and do that. I mean, you always have David Curry. And you got Trey Swilling, you know, guys that have been here in the past and guys that haven't played as much. I mean, even Curtis Ryans, you know, a guy that's a developmental squad guy has just been practicing really hard and bringing great energy to our team room. It's just fun to see all those guys develop. Did you see any drop last week in terms of attention to detail, things like that, that some other players had mentioned after the game? <laughs> there might be a little bit of that. Um, really, it was just maybe not lack of a, maybe not attention to detail, just not controlling what we can control. And we had more opportunities to do that than we actually took advantage of last week. Did this bye week come at a good time, or is there a good time for a bye week to come along? Uh, it's, it's, it's probably a double-edged sword, you know, for that. This is a good time. We need it. You know, we need always need to rest, recover, and uh, re-energize. Uh, you just after a loss, you'd like to get the taste out of your mouth, and you'd like to play as quickly as possible. If we could have played Monday, we probably would have put the ball down and played just to get the taste out. But it's always good to go into a bye, give a chance to self-scout, see what you're doing well, see what you need to improve on, see what the guys need to improve on, and obviously, you know, just prepare yourself for the rest of the season. Did you pick up on some things that you feel like you guys can work on from the self-scouting? I know Coach said you guys spent a lot of time on Monday to to kind of dig into that and look at yourselves. Well, really, it's just seeing uh, over the course of the weeks of what we've done successful, you know, where our negative yardage plays come from, um, what defenses maybe have we've called that have cost us. Um, and just kind of thinking, okay, what are we going to be moving forward and who's played well in those schemes? Um, and it helps us, who do we need to play on special teams? Because that's our first priority. And if they get a chance to play on special teams, maybe they earn more time uh, being above the line on defense. So it's just it's a total program thing when you go into an off week. Anything else for him? How does that work exactly when you're doing soft? Do you go just kind of go straight through the game or do you do kind of down a distance or, or really it's all that. Down? So you go through call, um, you go through call by personnel group, by the formation, uh, even by play. We spent a lot of time looking on explosives, um, whether it was a call or whether it was just leverage issues or it was an effort based thing that went for a big play against us. So, when we go through that, a lot of times it's not even schematic. It's not player driven sometimes. Sometimes it's just, hey, if you just would have stayed outside the blocker here, you would have been great. But you got inside and all your help was there and you couldn't pursue. So it's just maintaining um, what we think of ourselves as an effort based and a leverage based defense. Anything else?